Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So let's discuss on the page replacement algorithm, which is the uh, clock algorithm. Okay, so let's say we have a time scale like this, one until twelve, uh, and then we have a page address stream, two, three, two, one, five, two, and so the the address stream is from one to five. Okay, but the available slot memory slot is from one to three. So obviously you can see here we need to have a page replacement because this is from 1 to 5 is bigger than the available memory okay so let's start with the uh, what is the clock algorithm okay so you can visualize like this but it it will go like this 1 2 3 go back to 1 2 3 so more or less it's like this okay so you have a point here 1 uh, 1 here then move to the next one move to the next one and go back to the first one okay uh, so you have one, two, three. If you think this is similar, like first in, first out. Okay. If you remember first in, first out, it will go from one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. But what is different here on the clock algorithm is the uh, use bit. Okay. We have the use bit. Okay. So let's see uh, the first one. Okay. So the first one, uh, the f uh, the first time here, you can see the we have two here and the memory is still empty. Okay still empty so then you put the two here okay the frame two here on the memory frame number one and then uh, then you set this uh, use bit as one okay then you need to move the uh, what you call it? you need to move the arrow to the next one okay then here here you go this is the first one okay so it include three step uh, load the memory uh, use bit set to one and then move the arrow okay okay now let's see our uh, number uh, the next one two what do you think it will be the same thing okay so it'll be the same thing just go to this one two three process okay and then uh, set bit equal to one and move the arrow here okay uh, then what happened here we have hit whenever you you, you have here we don't you uh, uh, do anything because the use bit also already uh, one here. Okay, the use bit is already one here. So we just uh, mark it as a hit here. Okay, then we have one. So this one is similar. So from here the arrow move to this one number two. Okay, now let's let's see what happen uh, in five here. Okay, uh, time equal to five and then the memory request is five five as well. Okay, so it's not there one two three. So you need to replace. Okay, which one? This one, this one, or this one. Okay, you need to replace uh, uh, what you call the the memory. Okay, one of the frame. Okay, so this is the starting point. So it will check if this use bit is uh, if, if the use bit is one, it cannot update here. It cannot load here. Okay, so what it will do? It will move to the next one. Okay, uh, move the arrow here, but clearing the use bit. So you can you can see the use bit is clear here. There's no use bit here. Okay, there is no use bit here. So similarly, in three here, you cannot update here, not yet, because the use bit is one. So you need to move and set. So something like this. Okay, still, still you cannot uh, update here. Okay, you cannot load there. So you need to have another one here. Okay, then this one is what happened on the three step here. Okay, then because now you can see here, this is free. Okay, this is free when you move to the arrow here. Okay, this is free, so you can update here, set use bit to one, and then move the arrow here. So this is what happened. Okay, this is what happened. Okay, whenever you have page replacement, you have a fault. Okay. Okay, uh, then similarly, uh, you have another one to just replace here because this is free. There's no uh, set bit is not set here. Okay, and then you but this is page fault. Okay, then another one here because uh, also. Uh, it's not there on the main memory so you need to load from the hard drive 4 here and then move the arrow here okay then on here is similar like this one a time equal to 5 okay so uh, oh, sorry uh, sorry this one is or hit this is uh, another hit okay because this is 5 the request is 5 and 5 is already load in the main memory okay I mean here the next one uh, or let's see the next one the next one also similar okay 5 to 4 Okay, you need to clean the first bit, use bit equal to zero, move to the next one, and then so this is similar to 
to here okay so then you update here this one fault so three and then uh, the rest uh, what you call the rest is the use bit is zero okay let's move on to the time equal to 10 okay what happened here you have a hit okay the pointer is in here okay the pointer is in here in the middle okay and then the request also two so what you need to do you need to uh, don't move here okay uh, just set this uh, use bit uh, to one okay set the use bit into one okay so you have hit here okay then move to the next one okay on 11 what will happen you cannot update here whenever you cannot update you need to uh, set the use bit equal to zeros then you move to the next one okay so here what happened okay so the clean clear the use bit here i can move to the next one and you can see here this is free so you can replace here okay so this is what happened okay three two one replace with five and don't forget you need to set bit equal to one and then uh, move the pointer there, there okay so this is what happened three two five okay this is already clear here and then the other is uh, use okay then whenever you this is another hit okay and the pointer is keep here sorry it's missing one point uh, arrow there so the pointer is still there okay don't move the pointer okay but uh, the use bit of two set to one okay so i hope you understand the clock algorithms so basically you need to check uh, this is the foundation zero one four one five here so that you can apply to any situation okay Okay, if you compare the clock algorithm with the others, so this is the performance. So you can see here the optimum algorithm. Of course, this one will have the uh, the highest number. But remember that this one cannot be implemented because you need to know the future requests. Okay, so six hit three uh, three uh, fold. Okay, when you add, this is nine. This is also nine. This is nine. This is nine. So you can check whether your clock when when you are doing clock algorithm whether it's correct or not just check with the other maybe the easiest one is first in first out you check okay it should uh, have the same uh, summation here between hit and the fault okay okay least recently used uh, you just see on the history okay this one you see the future okay first in first out is easy just like the clock algorithm you just move one then two okay three okay one two three one two three so you are doing a circular buffer same like clock but the, uh, the different is you don't have the use bit okay you don't have the use bit okay so uh, that's all i hope you understand the clock algorithm okay thank you very much assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh